I am going to show you how to have robots handle your entire website onboarding process inside of Go High Level using AI and automations. This is going to save you so much time, so much stress, so much headache, and so much money. And the best part is I have done all of the work for you. I've built all of this stuff out, the forms, the AI chatbot, the automations, and I have put it into a Go High Level snapshot and it is yours completely free. Yes, completely free. All the work done. All you have to do is watch this video and implement and your entire onboarding process will be revamped. You'll keep your clients longer and make way more money. So go right down below, smash that subscribe button and get ready to jump right in. So what a lot of you guys do when you first get a client on high level, okay, you get a website deal, you come in and it's this never ending cycle. Once they pay of you sending them stuff, asking for domain info, asking for pictures, asking for this, asking for that. And you just go back and forth with the client. You sell the website, but then there's all this work before you even build the website. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I see this time and time again, the onboarding sucks so much time. It wastes money, okay? You might have to pay VAs to do this. And poor onboarding leads to client churn. If you don't have a proper onboarding system, people leave early. That's what a lot of people don't understand. It's like, oh, my client just went up and left me. It's because most likely your onboarding process sucked and it's hard to scale. And if you get 10 website deals, okay, in the next week and you're doing this exact thing, you're most likely gonna be so stifled. The bottleneck is so big. It's also gonna be extremely hard to scale because if you're doing this whole, I'm gonna send you this, I'm gonna do that. If you get 10 websites in the next month, you just going back and forth, getting raw materials will kill you. It is a thing that's gonna waste all of your time. You're not even gonna build the projects. You're just gonna sit there going back and forth with this. Okay. AI and automation will do all of this for you. The client comes in, they pay the invoice and immediately go high level with AI and automation is going to send them forms. It's going to onboard them. It's going to collect the proper info. And all you have to do is sit back. Okay. Right after the payment triggers, then you just go in and you build the website. It's as simple as that where you have someone else build it. This will save you a ton of money. You will nail your onboarding. Your clients will stay longer because they'll get a much better experience. It'll feel like they're getting one-on-one -on -one personal attention via the AI and the automations. And most importantly, it will massively improve your scalability. If you can have a proper system where as soon as people come on, the minute they come on, they pay you, the process starts of the website build. Not this back and forth. It immediately is sending them forms. It's talking to them. So you can sit back and just keep selling people. And then from there, you have the raw materials to begin and you just build out the website, next person, build out the website, next person. This, if properly done, will change your agency, especially if you're beginning a web design. So now let me show you the core components of this snapshot on how this is going to work in this process. So in Go High Level, you're going to get access to a big onboarding form completely done finished you don't have to do it you're going to get access to an ai chatbot that's going to help it's already pre-configured a lot of stuff like that and automations to plug in so everything is already done for you so you can immediately start implementing this process so this is what i recommend you do because the snapshot is right down below and you can just download it completely free i'm not asking for anything in return other than you leave a good comment saying you liked it what i'm going to tell you right now is i recommend that before you go and immediately just start playing with a snapshot watch this video one time first please do that I really see a lot of people that just immediately just start hoarding snapshots. It doesn't do anything. Watch this video first, then go back and download the, the snapshot, then watch the video again and implement all the stuff I'm saying. It's a much better way to do it. So let's dig in to these three components and let's get your onboarding process for Go High Level websites. So the first part of this is getting your form properly dialed in. So in the snapshot, you're going to come right to sites and it will already be in here. It'll be right under forms. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right into builder and we're going to have the website onboarding form. That's what it's called. And in this form, this is going to have all the essential stuff, all the building blocks for you basically to collect all the website info you need. Now, what I recommend you do as we're going through this is if you have other things in your business and other little things you want to do, add them to this form. This is the basic form that if you're doing smaller websites, 500 to $1,000, this will work perfectly. But if you have a bunch of complex stuff, feel free to add on to this. So let me just walk you through this really fast. So here's the form. You're going to have first name. You're going to have a last name. You're going to have business name. You're going to have business email, business phone, business street address, industry. Okay. Plumber, HVAC, or whatever their niche is. Business description. You want this, you can use ChatGPT to generate copy or whatever you use. Domain info. This is where the chatbot's going to come in because a lot of people get confused about doing info and you can never get the website live. Brand colors. This is tricky because they probably don't know what hex is. So get them just to get blue, red, gold, whatever. And then business logo so they can upload it. And then business photos. This one is really important. And these are all required, by the way, on you know, these little stars. You want to come into this. You want to click upload options. You want to click all, okay? Because you can make sure these ones are good because these are the most important. You want to have JPEG and then PNG. And then you want to click allow multiple files. And you're going to want to do 15 or 20. Really important because they're going to dump a lot of photos in here. This is going to save you a ton of 
time. So this is your form, okay? And we're gonna leave this up because we're gonna need to basically take this, you click integrate, and we're gonna copy the form link, and we're gonna be using this once you've built it out and customize it. We're gonna be adding this into the AI chatbot, into the automations, that way it can send, and then you have this form. So again, to reiterate, the whole point of this form is as soon as they come in and they basically buy your website, this form will be automatically sent to them. This will collect all the website info needed so you can immediately start building the website. Now, some of you guys may be like, oh, you could use custom values, you can do all these other little things, but for a lot of basic websites, you don't really need that, and Google is penalizing websites that look so similar. So this way, you can get a template out or you can then plug it in yourself, but you have all the raw materials. Because so much of the time when people build websites, they can't get access to the domain, they never get the stuff live, and they don't have pictures. So if you want to speed up, you could go download it yourself off their website. But this way, if you're handling high volume, you send this and it takes care of it all for you. A big thing too, okay, that is very, very critical about this is all of this will be in one place under submissions. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So watch this. I'm going to come to this. I'm going to copy form link. I'm going to enter this in and we're going to quickly fill this out. Okay. This looks good. This looks good. Obviously for the sake of this, we're not doing anything here. We are going to put in a logo like this. And we're going to put in a image like that. And then we're going to click submit. We come right back out here. Okay. And we come right into submissions. You will see that all of your submissions will be in one spot. Now, this is great because you have all of your client info under one section. This keeps it organized. You don't have stuff flying over the place. You can always come back and reference. A big problem I see with so many people in this space is they don't have any of this organized. They don't, you know, it's an email somewhere. It's a PDF somewhere. They don't know where any of their info is. If you come right in here, okay, you'll get access to all the stuff, the number, the name, the, the business description, the images, everything is in one single place. You can always come back and reference. Trust me, great for organization, especially if you have a big web design agency. This will help greatly. So next on the list is automation. Okay. And you're going to want to have a product built out for these to work. But the first one is the website form. So we're going to come right in here and we're going to take a look at this. Again, these are already all built out in the snapshot. You just have to change your info. So the first thing is your trigger. So make sure that when you have this, you have global product is website. It's a product you have inside of the high level and you save the trigger. Then the first thing you're going to send them an email. Okay. You're going to put in your name, your email, you can leave it as website onboarding form, and you're going to do this right here. You're going to do what's up, contact first name, here's the website onboarding form, and you're going to come back in here and you're going to do what I just did with the integrate the form, and you're going to put the form right in here. Very, very important. This will automatically populate the name, so it's good. Then you're going to save action. That's how immediately when they buy a website or whatever plan you have on Stripe, it will send this form automatically. Then after this email is sent, it's then going to wait for two minutes and it's going to send them an SMS. Now, this is what it's going to look like. And again, you're going to want to name your AI chatbot. We'll go over that in the next section. But this is going to say, hey, contact first name. I work for whoever the business is. I just emailed you the website onboarding form. Please let me know if there's any questions. The AI chatbot is also going to have the form to send them if they didn't get it. Then AI is going to check and have a conversation. So it's going to act like a human. So it's going to give that personalized touch, but it's going to answer any questions they have. One of the problems I ran into when I was helping this website design agency run through this automation and onboard people was that they would send these emails, okay? And what would then happen is people would have all these questions. They would be like, what is a domain? You know, like even though they have it. And what I realized with adding the AI chat on is, is it came in and it answered all all of their questions. So there wasn't this like, oh, now I have to go manually message them. Oh, I have to do this. It's really important that you have this support building just so it lets them know, okay, you need to fill out the form. Ask me any questions. You need to do this. You need to do that. And the AI chatbot is just there to guide them through submitting the form, you know, getting ready, and then, you know, letting them know how many days it's going to take. That's why this is so powerful. This first automated sequence is just to get them started with the form. The AI chatbot then helps finish them. So we first say that. Then we're going to want to go to the other form. Okay. And the other form is going to be when they submit the form. So you're probably thinking like, okay, why don't we just have this all in one automation? You can technically with some if else sequences and, and stuff with AI chatbots, but it does not work super smoothly. I even contacted the high level support team while I was running through this many months ago and I ran into issues with it. Like certain things would not go through and they were even baffled. So I broke it down to two because the execute rate is much higher. Then what you want to have in the next one is come in here, form submitted, form is website onboarding form. So the form we just created, you want to pick that exact form in here and save that trigger because what's going to happen is once they submit the form, because the AI chatbot's going to kind of help them and, and try to get them to submit it, it then will send another SMS out 
Contact first name. I'm super happy you were able to fill out the form. We will get started on your website ASAP. In the meantime, feel free to message me with any questions you have. That is automated, but the AI chatbot is at the ready waiting to answer any of your questions so you don't have to. Very, very important because people will have questions. It always happens unless they're those great clients that just works out. This will make your onboarding process so much quicker. Just having these automations in place with the form, it allows you just to sell websites and then things move automatically. It's incredible. And that's the power of AI and automation. But you now need to configure your AI chatbot for this to work properly. So we're going to come right in here. Okay, we're going to go back down to settings and we're going to come to conversational AI. This is in the snapshot, so it's already built out, but you're going to want to add some extra stuff. So we're going to click this right here. I'm going to walk through this. So the first thing is this stuff all looks good. You're going to want to name it, okay? Whatever your name you want to put in, name it. Put in your business name. One minute response time is perfect. 10 maximum messages is perfectly fine. Under bot training, you're going to want to add your website here. So important. Please do that. What I have on the other websites is a support article to domains and a support article on a high level to all of their website details. So if we click this right here, you'll see sites over you. It has everything to do with go high level websites really important because it is training the bot on how to answer any questions related to go high level. Really important that you have these two and I've already plugged them in for you. So it's already done and it's trained on that. You're going to want to add other things in there. If you feel like this isn't working properly, I recommend you fine tune this and tweak it and test it. So it works properly, but this way it'll answer any of the questions and deal with them, you know, in the right way and not just be like saying random crap, like, Oh, your website actually is in the back end, And it's actually referring to WordPress when it's on high level. So that fixes it under bot goals. I already have this configured for you. It's already done, but it has a basic personality. You're going to want to put your name in and the business name. So make sure you go do that under here. You're going to want to put your boss's name, whatever you are, or your business company, that way to make it good. And then under here, it has the form plugged in. You want to let it know the form. And I have right here, short but friendly, human-like responses. You don't want the AI chatbot to be sending these massive messages because it looks like an AI chatbot. You want it short, choppy, like a human. And if we come back to the form, it's all of the form fields in here over here. So the AI chatbot knows, okay, if it asks me about postal code or domain info, username and password, it will guide them through that process. And from there, if it asks like, okay, how do I get my domain? You know, where do I find my DNS records on GoDaddy? It will know, okay, because it's trained on websites and domains and all that stuff. It will go in, search the internet and then give it a response. Like, okay, in GoDaddy, you go to this right here, you go to this, and then you go down to, you know, products and then you click DNS. It'll guide them through that process. Really cool, but also huge time saver because I cannot tell you how many times you will be going back and forth. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Click that button. Click that button. And then you go back and forth and it's just terrible. And for some clients, you may have to just hop on a call with them and iron this out. You just may. This may not work perfectly because some people are just incompetent. And this is not good with tech too, so that's fine. But this is the AI chatbot in a nutshell. And it already is pre-configured, but I recommend you go in, make sure you change out the name stuff here and you add any extra stuff if it's not working to your liking. Because you may have other things. You may want the personality to be a little different. And this has just been tested and this has worked well for what I've done but make sure you come in and you play with that a little bit. So quick recap, you get the form going. As soon as they sign, okay, the form gets sent via automations. So as soon as payment goes out, the form is there in their hands and they're working on it. Then the AI chatbot is trained and configured to go in and start messaging them, warming them up, answering their questions. So this onboarding process is smooth. One quick point I want to make about this entire process, because you may be like, the AI chatbot's really just there to talk to them. Couldn't it do more? Right now, the Go High Level AI chatbot that's making this video is struggling with stuff like certain tagging and certain stuff, and it doesn't get properly right. Because I tried having the AI chatbot do everything and it ran into some snags. But one of the greatest gifts I'm giving you in this video is having you play with the AI chatbot now, because I talked to high level support. I talked to a lot of people in the future. This will be able to do everything, create a user and go high level. Okay. This will be able to, you know, get their domain set up for them. So it's good that you have this now because the AI chatbot will grow with you. And soon enough, this will do the entire process. So make sure you dial us in because it's extremely, extremely important. So before I go into the last part, which is just going to be how you do this for reputation management, how you do this basically for all the other go high level services, the snapshot is down below. Okay. So now that you've gone through this, just go down below and download it put it in your account and start playing with this stuff ASAP. It's free. I'm literally not asking for anything in return. So again, you probably go back and watch this video again. And the snapshot is down below if you want to check that out so you can have it. But last thing I really want to cover, which I think is really, really important is that this process can be done really for any service. Now, right now it's properly configured for websites, but with the AI chatbot getting better and better and the future looking more and more completely AI powered, you can do this with a lot of services. And something I've realized in talking to a lot of agency owners and just a lot of people in general is their onboarding is trash. They have no system for bringing new clients in. 
Like, like they have no system for dealing with clients when they first come in. Not at all. It's totally weird. So you want to have a basic sequence for your clients. So let's say you're getting in a bunch of reputation and management clients. The first thing you should do is create a form. Okay. Inside of Go High Level, we'll come right over to the form. And what you immediately want to do once you get one of these reputation management clients or any of these clients is immediately get, okay, in forms, a CSV list of all of their clients, email, text message. You can start doing reputation management campaign. Easy, but so many people don't do that. They are trying to set stuff up. They're messaging back and forth. Set up these simple automations like I have here where immediately after they buy something, it sends them all the stuff. And then an AI chatbot answers any questions and guides them. Okay, this is how you find your CSV list, okay, inside of... QuickBooks, you see what I'm saying? It immediately will guide them through the process so you don't have to sit there. I need a list. I need a list. They never actually do the job and then they get fired. We don't want that. So look for ways where you can do this exact thing on high level in all of your businesses. Now, right now, if you're just doing one client every month or it's really small, you don't necessarily need this. But once you start bringing on more and more clients and you, you want to have this stuff dialed in, this will be a big bottleneck of yours. It's going to spend, you're going to spend a lot of time like, oh crap, I got to send this. I got to do this. This will take care of all of it. This will make it smooth and you'll get everything you need that way. All you have to do is focus on selling people and then doing the work. Everything else in between is taken care of AI and automations. So you just roll back, relax, and then you're taken care of. So look for that in all these different opportunities. You know what I mean? Automate it, have forms built out where you can collect the lists, whatever it is, because this will help you greatly. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. At the end of this video is going to pop up another video on go high level automations. You need to watch. If you do not understand automations properly, this whole thing will not work for you and you will lose a lot of money. So please, at the end of this video, go and click the link that's going to pop up on the screen for the automations video. It will change your life. It'll help you a lot. So check that video out. Thank you for watching. Go High Level Wizard out.